everybody already knows about the main Justice League, right? But then there's the legacy characters, characters that one would call sidekick compared to the main Justice Leaguers, right? Well, there's actually a show about them. Known as Young Justice, one of the many universes in the DC multiverse, it's an animated universe that also has comics that add more lore and continuity to the mythos of the Young Justice universe. Call me old-fashioned, but I'm a big fan of brute strength, Superboy, Kryptonian-type character. Let's analyze them in the Young Justice universe, shall we? I'm Superman's clone. I am the Superboy, a genomorph. A clone made from the DNA of the Superman, created to replace him should he perish. Pretty much what you would expect from his origin story, right, of this universe. Similar to comic lore, but their own little tweaks here and there. You get the idea. The logo says it all. He's meant to have similar abilities to Superman. And when you think of Superman, you think of amazing physical abilities. Strength, right, for one. Think of Superboy like a teenage version of Superman, one could say. He's not fully mature, so it's obvious that Superman's stronger. He can basically do the stuff Superman can do, but just to a lesser degree, one could say. It's like implied how they look, with there being a noticeable size difference. Not that size matters, but this is like kind of implying maturity differences, you know, stuff like that. This sheet pretty much summarizes him. I'm gonna get back to his strength, of course, but of course he has super strength, but he has other abilities too. Literally has microscopic vision, like how he was able to zoom in this much. He has super sensitive hearing. This is what it appears to be infrared type vision, it, is, it seems. Part of the reason why he's not as strong as Superman is because he has some human DNA, Lex Luthor, in him. He can't do the Superman stuff. He can't do all the stuff Superman can do. Superman can fly. Why can't I fly? I don't seem to have heat vision. So usually in a character like this, I would usually bring up Superman of this universe a lot. But in this video, it does imply the writers make it clear that they do not want him on Superman's level of power, at least in his base state. Unless we're talking about special gear that Lex gave him to power him up to Superman levels like these shields. Consider these a gift. I call them shields. Stick one on your arm and it'll suppress your human DNA for about an hour, allowing your Kryptonian powers to bloom. It will be as powerful as match as Superman. Then that's when it is appropriate to compare his strength to Superman's to really get a true understanding of his might. But it's like a temporary thing. That's when he can do all the Superman stuff like X-ray vision. But like I said, that type of stuff is temporary, but he basically gets all the Kryptonian abilities. Even though he's not as mighty as Superman, if he gets injured, you know how the sun works. Look, this world's yellow sun already begins to heal him. That's something you already know. The yellow sun affects him and powers him up, heals him, stuff like that. Same with Superman. Even if it's at a lesser degree, it still should apply. And just like Superman, Kryptonite is poison to him. Look what this Kryptonite does when touching him. I find it amazing that the yellow sun increases his durability, even elemental stuff like electricity. You can dip his feet in lava and it just loses his shoes. His body can handle pressures. Yes, they do have comics, by the way, like I mentioned. Underwater, his body can handle these pressures. It would be weird if he was a Superman-centric type character if he wasn't bulletproof. He's not as fast as Superman of this universe in his base state, but he's still fast enough to intercept bullets that are already made of flight. Like, you can literally see the bullets in the air, and he's fast enough to get in front of them before they even reach Robin. So he's literally faster than a speeding bullet. Imagine being punched by somebody that can move faster than bullets. Oh, I, I, ain't, get, I ain't got to his punching power yet, though. I'm gonna get back to this. It's gonna be different states of him. His base form is over here, but this is him when he's amped up by these shields that makes him basically Superman level, right? But how strong is he? Even if he's not as strong as Superman, right off gate, he's way stronger than this many soldiers to where he can beat all of them in a tug of war. Despite it being this many, he's doing this by himself. There's more than likely no creature on the planet Earth that can overpower him. And other beings that have amazing super strength, we've seen him toss, even slam him to the ground to crack a piece of the ground. I haven't really got on his punching power, but with all this strength I've just shown you, I think it's fair to say he could definitely do this to a concrete wall. I mean, we legitly seen him punch through a wall here, so of course he can punch through concrete and thick, solid walls. You can get an angle of how big of a wall he punched through. Like, you see how thick it is? He punched through all that. We got some light examples of how hard he can punch. Punching power to break the floor with his raw power. Thick stone. It's consistent. Right. <laughs> That's a lot of punching power. It's obvious he can hit ridiculously hard. All these vehicles blow up. And they get launched with a punch. If you throw a car at him, he can punch it away. He was punching these huge creatures right here. Despite their monstrous size, he was punching so hard to collapse the tunnel they was in. Or at least threatening to collapse the tunnel they was in. I mean, look how he cracks this wall with a punch. We've seen him punch all kinds of super strong super beings like Lobo making a shockwave. Despero literally proving he can break the walls. Look, yeah, all that he punched through was his doing. When we're talking about robots, he can punch through like this leg spot. Tank barrels like this, we see him just bend with ease. 
train roofs. He can just rip apart like this. You guys knew this was coming. He uses a motorcycle like a literal melee weapon, basically. Vehicles like cars, he can lift up with ease, so he can easily lift two tons. Doors like this, he can rip open. Thick stone, he's strong enough to lift like this. He's the definition of size means nothing. Big mechs, he can swing. He's actually strong enough to flip trucks. You know, school buses can get pretty heavy. He can stop it from falling. Pretty much proven as a bare minimum, he can lift at least 10 plus tons. You guys know how heavy tanks can be. And he's able to bend this mess and rip it off. And lift a nice decent chunk of the tank. Honestly, he only ripped a piece of a tank apart, but let's be honest, he more than likely probably could just lift the whole tank up if we're being honest, meaning that he should be able to lift at least 60 plus tons, right? I mean, he did rip this steel, bend this part, and then rip this whole crap off. You know what I mean? That's crazy strength. I mean, us as viewers can only imagine how hard he can punch if he can just rip off tanks without no momentum or using super speed. I would imagine his punches would probably feel like a tank smashing on your face or landing on your face. I think we all can agree that his punches are strong enough to tilt an entire tank over at least though. Don't follow me. Stairs are gone. Things that support the building, the support pillars he can easily punch through. Like I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back up when it comes to his raw speed. His combat speed's crazy because literally bullets can be mid flight even they're on the way. He can literally run fast enough to outspeed the bullets. So imagine all this super strength he has that I've already shown in this video on top of this level of speed. Him being able to move this fast, imagine if he just didn't care about morals and just wanted to kill you, he would be able to punch you faster than a bullet really. He really needs to use his super speed more. He blocks the bullets here. Logically speaking, nobody should be able to stand a chance when he can blitz at you before you can react. Do you remember earlier in the video how I mentioned he has these shields that amp him up? These things Lex gave him that makes him dang near Superman level of this Young Justice universe? I mean, it's not really much to go off of, but without the shields amping up the Superman levels, I would say as a bare minimum. With a combination of his super strength, with his super speed, I would say a bridge like you see in this picture, he would be able to punch down. The support of such a bridge to where it would collapse, I would say is a bare minimum. Punches that are faster than bullets with this kind of strength, I definitely believe he'll be able to punch stuff like this down as a bare minimum to collapse pieces of the bridge. Wouldn't that be fair? I don't think it's too big of an assumption to assume he could definitely punch down a building with his super speed and if he just wanted to mess up property, right? But with these shoes, I think we all can agree he can surpass his normal levels. Like fighting other Kryptonian level beings that are similar in strength to his normal state, he can overpower. See, here's the thing. There was more than one clone of Superboy. We got to see him fight another clone of him. So, to show his increase in raw strength, his punches was actually able to knock out this other clone of himself. You got occasions like this, not only showing his combat speed, but you can see him causing an avalanche because of this collateral of his punches when he's raging out of control. See, it's moments like this with the shield. There's implications he could at least tremble a mountain or maybe punch apart smaller mountains due to him apparently being as strong as Superman himself. It will be as powerful as match. As Superman. It's kind of hard to get a reading on how strong does this make Superboy because we don't really know how the limits of this universe version of Superman on how strong he is. We just know that's durability wise this Superman. I mean Superman was right in the middle of an explosion that was dang near basically the size of a nuclear explosion or worse. This big explosion. That big. Yo. But this did seem to knock Superman out though. Would this mean if Superboy has these shields on him, would this mean he would be able to withstand stuff like this without dying? He would just be knocked out, apparently. I guess that's one way you can look at it. He could withstand being in the middle of all this mess, maybe, with them shields on him. What do you think his limits are with these shields on when it comes to how hard he can just punch? I mean, just remember, anything he can do without the shields, he can do better with the shields. Like being faster than he was here, for example. This is where he didn't have no shields and he was still able to outrun bullets and move faster than the speed of bullets. So how fast do you think he would be with the shields on? Massively faster than this, right? There's a lot of implications of his speed, especially during combat, making his hands move like a machine gun, basically. But anyway, guys, this is not something he's always at. This is gear that, this is like temporary power-up gear. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. How strong do you think Young Justice Superboy is? But before I get going, I just got to give you a friendly reminder he can lift two tanks up with one arm. <laughs> oh, my bad. Before I get going, everybody, I have to say quick thanks to the donators. It helps out a lot. Respect Superboy from the Young Justice universe. His might's crazy, even without the shields. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.